I definitely feel as though I'm an integral part to patient care. Right from the beginning of their experience and training at Mayo, they are allowed to see patients, to participate in care of patients. There's lots of hands-on, one-on-one teaching with these experts. The bedside teaching, the dedication to the patients and to making the residents better, it makes you really happy to be here. In other places all over the world, they probably read these names of these great physicians, and here we are, we get to see them every day, so it's a fantastic way to be inspired. They match you up with mentors and research advisors, people who are just have accomplished themselves and are just there to help you. My mentor is one who I can talk to about my future goals, who is able to provide me with research projects if I'm interested in, and also with networking and connecting outside of the Mayo Clinic to help provide me the best education possible. When Mayo Clinic says that the needs of the patients come first, this is absolutely true. The education comes out of that, out of learning about the patients. Um, as they care for them, they really learn how they want to be doctors and the kinds of doctors they want to be. The biggest reason that I came to Mayo Clinic for residency um, was because of the, the depth and breadth of the education. We see the very rare, and we're talking about diseases where you have single digits case reports. The experience here is unparalleled. You will see level one trauma. We see people from all over the world, um, from all walks of life, with all kinds of medical conditions. However, you have a community as well, the people who a local. I was worried that I may not see the bread and butter. However, that has not been the case. I was really impressed that there was a, a culture of, of caring for the physician. If they need help with other issues, stress, work-life balances, uh, they can uh, easily access somebody to, uh, to talk to them. The Dan Abraham Healthy Living Center is something that's readily available to residents. Includes an indoor track, multiple cardiovascular equipment as well as weight equipment. In addition, a pool for swimming laps as well as an aerobic fitness pool and multiple classes offered. The Mayo Clinic for at least two decades has invested in an electronic medical record. Far ahead of most of the rest of the country, patient providers at Mayo Clinic have electronic access to every bit of information on every patient. All laboratory studies, imaging studies are available online or archived, which promotes educational and research opportunities. iPads, iPhones, a whole variety of applications, those are all being brought to bear to provide better care for the patients. We don't have to write down uh, the lab values and different vital signs on a piece of paper that can get lost. We have it all on our iPad and can pull it up in current time. I'm able to pull up the same applications through the iPhone or wherever I'm at. In addition, Ask Mayo Expert is a system that was developed whereby the answers to common clinical questions can be sought in a database that includes expert opinions from Mayo physicians. The simulation center here at Mayo Clinic has multiple different rooms for simulation and the capabilities to tape all of the interactions that are going on. And the consultant leading the scenario takes you back through the video for constructive criticism criticism and any feedback. It's one of the largest in the country. It involves all residencies and fellowships. You will interface with other residents and other faculty through the simulation center and that's one of the highlights of the Sim Center. It really mimics real life. I think the training here is so superb that if I had to make the decision again I would make it 100 out of 100 times. 